Hey everybody, this is Agroad. Uh, all right, so um, Syria. Syria is happening. Uh, we have a airstrike that's um, been called by the President of the United States acting along with Theresa May of England and I actually don't know the current President of France, but those three countries are working together to go um, attack Syria through the air right now. And um, what I guess I would want to go talk about is um, I think that there's basically two ways to go interpret the events. One is that the United States is um, actually trying to start World War III and is actively pissing off um, you know, uh, Russia in particular, but trying to go cause trouble there. And the other is that um, there's been a deep state um, proxy army through ISIS and Al-Qaeda that's been trying to overthrow Assad that's well armed and um, quite lethal. And so one of the questions is, what what is actually going on? Um, you know, there's a statement by Trump. I'm just in Twitter and I'm just kind of looking through some of the news. You can see uh, WikiLeaks, is, WikiLeaks is trying to chime in on this a little bit. You can see uh, here are some strikes as they're actually happening. You can see that through uh, through this video. There's a second uh, strike that comes in here shortly thereafter. So these things are filmed as these uh, the bombs hit. Um, but there's uh, the president. The president shares we are attacking, and it's basically because of their used chemical weapons. Um, we're going to go attack. Alex Jones kind of goes off on a tirade that did actually get recorded. Um, where he's dropping F-bombs left and right. Um, and then I, I wrote this first piece, so it talks about the U.S. allies uh, strike Syria. Um, the Russian military says that an alleged chemical attack in Syria was staged, so this is uh, today. And not only that, but there was this video uh, that came out through Facebook that Today basically talks about um, in March of 2018, they basically said, you know, we have reliable information sound about militants preparing to falsify a government chemical attack against citizens or civilians. So you can go watch the rest of this, but they predicted this back in March that the uh, chemical weapon attack in Syria would happen. Okay, so now let me go back. Um, and so my, my basic thought is that we're... we're in one of two scenarios, either Trump is starting World War III or Trump is targeting the deep state proxy army. Uh, one positive sign was that Q posted today. Q might be alert, Q might be real, but uh, trust POTUS, Sparrow Red. Sparrow Red is a movie. It's a movie where um, basically Russia works, I guess, to go stop the CIA. I haven't seen it, but um, missiles only, intel is good. So. Presumably there is a target that they have in mind. Uh, one thought is that, look, we haven't had a massive response just yet, so that, that would indicate that, like, if we really just started World War III and there were going to be nukes landing in the United States as a consequence of this, um, we'd be seeing, like, you know, we interrupt your show for a live broadcast, you know, nukes are coming, weapons are coming. Uh, we, we do see um, the Russian response, you know, a statement of the ambassador of Russia to the USA, uh, this is the worst apprehensions have come true, um, and basically this is, um, I don't know, it's going against us, um, saying that we have no right to do this. And then, um, and then I found anonymous or a non-decoder, and um, non-decoder has quite a funky feed that's going on here. So as I scroll down to sort of the beginning of this, he seems to have movements of, uh, of troops that are built into this. So um, so here's the conflicts. The, uh, the strikes are going to be against bad actors, is what he says. Uh, this is the map. Um, so basically Damascus, which is uh, Syrian to Duma, is only five miles or so. Uh, so it, it, it is a little tricky to tell if planes are flying in here. Uh, where they're attacking, but it would seem like it's going to be Duma. Um, so the uh, the Meza military airport has been attacked by the U.S. airstrikes on Syria. So it seems like uh, Meza was attacked. 
Uh, weapons are being shot into the air to shoot down rockets or something else. That's in Damascus. Syrian air defenses are defending the sky of Dam Damascus. Um, and then reports coming out of strikes versus Jamriah District, Damascus. Jamriah is where the Scientific Studies and Research Center is located. So um, it does sound like that research center is what just got hit by missiles. Um, Russia Defense Ministry, Russian military police deployed at checkpoints at Duma. So it seems like the Russians are responding to this. Uh, it's confirmed that manned aircraft and ship launch Tomahawk missiles were used in the attack. So that, those are mostly American things. Syrian media saying uh, Bar Barza has hit. I don't know what that is. Uh, and sounds of explosions can clearly be heard in eastern Damascus. So this is uh, some of the feed that he's been providing and some of the information. So pro-government Damascus Now outlet claiming strikes are hitting areas around the capital in Syria. Uh, Facebook Live video that was showing what seems to be the aftermath of an explosion in Damascus. Uh, Damascus airport is completely destroyed and the fires could be seen from everywhere. So it seems like... Uh, these airports are getting targeted, the strips. All right, so this says, seems like Russian U.S. forces are both doing fighting but not engaging. Russia, the Russians are attacking rebels now, U.S. attacking areas in Syria. Syria has planes in air, and then uh, anti-air guns are shooting. Uh, I'm not sure what that's showing. Uh, that's a Russian air force, so there's a plane that's presumably there. Uh, North Hama, Russian Air Force resumed airstrikes after pause of several days, bombing area of Hamarat. Uh, this is clashes between the government forces and ISIS in the Yarmouk camp in Damascus. So it seems like the government forces are using this time to go shoot ISIS members. Uh, and then down here, Russian TV reporters of NTV channel, Russian one and cameraman of Izvedja TV were lightly wounded in Syria, according to Russian uh, Ministry of Defense. So he says Russia on the march all over Syria took Duma, attacking Turkish rebel control positions. Seen that as a uh, U.S. attack, Russian Syria mounting an all-out ground assault on the rebels. So uh, Russian says that the uh, Syrian government forces have retaken eastern Ghouta. That's where that chemical attack just happened. Syrian government forces bombed this town with heavy artillery in the northern countryside of Aleppo. Uh, and then this one down here, a Russian raid on this village in South Idlib. So it seems like the Russians are on the march. Um, so the raw info as it happened, so I get hungry, go with that. You people are on your own. So the, uh, the rebels surrender heavy arms in Syria's Ghouta. Uh, so that was a major rebel stronghold and they surrendered. Uh, leader of Jaish al-Islam, a Syrian rebel group, exit Duma after surrender, surrendering heavy weapons. So they're kind of toast. Uh, Islam burned down its armors as its fighters leave Duma. Then a large explosion heard around Damascus is from the destruction of a tunnel in Kaban. I'm not clear why they blew up a tunnel, but uh, maybe that's so that they can't retreat or get away. Uh, Russians are kicking rebel ass all over Syria. Meanwhile, on Fox, they talk about U.S. strikes. Seems U.S. strike is a diversion for massive Russian attack all over Syria against the rebels. Syria has moved high value assets to Russia's secured zones. Russia moving Navy to sea. This is not a war. This is a coordinated operation. U.S. Russia is in uh, synchrony so far. They're basically working together. Syrian military repositioning some air assets ahead of possible U.S. military strikes. Uh, satellite photos of Russian naval base in Tartus, uh, Syria show all, all 11 Russian battleships have left Syria. Russian Air Force flying low above Tartus. Israeli army has been put on high alert in northern Israel, near Syrian and Lebanese borders, ahead of feared retaliation by Iran and Hezbollah for attributed Israeli strikes uh, and ahead of possible military actions by America. That's the last one there. All right, message from me. Everything seems under control so far. Live map shows U.S. striking, Russia marching into rebels, Syria attacking rebels, Assad getting his planes out of the way of the strikes. And again, he's showing the uh, the Q post there. Uh, Sparrow Red, this is a movie. It's Russia against the CIA, as I've shown on Syria Live, Russia marching in, uh, in Syria. 
My assessment, U.S. made believe out of all assault, all out assault was going to take place. U.S. strikes, rebels, ISIS, and the CIA clowns come out of their holes to join what they think is a POTUS attack on Assad, but instead they are met by Russian Syrian forces who will slaughter them. Uh, Russia monitoring France. I said France, UK, May, false flag to inst instigate Russia-USA fight. Uh, Russia sending message to the CIA, cabal controlled France, not to try anything stupid. Uh, so the Russian Air Force jet made a low pass near French frigate in the eastern Mediterranean. So maybe that's, a friend, that's the Russians telling the French, don't you start shit. Um, Russian position attacked by who? Turkish rebel area on the receiving end of massive bombardment by Russia Assad. Uh, reports of explosions in Latakia City. Uh, Idlib blast rocked the city near a market, killing and injuring dozens of residents. Entire building collapsed following heavy blast in Idlib City. 50 plus casualties so far, including many children, many trapped under the rubble. Dead and wounded as a result of the destruction of buildings in Idlib City. Unknown explosion. All right. So uh, what I said, U.S. strike was for the ISIS CIA to believe all out assault was taking place so they can go on full offensive and are met by Russian and Syria who will slaughter them. Breaking, the Syrian army is now repelling an attack of ISIS around al Yarmouk camp south of uh, Damascus. All right. All are being attacked on all fronts over uh, Syria. Government forces are evacuating planes from uh, al Taifur and al Sin air bases towards al Narab and Damascus International Air Bases. Uh, reports this morning that IRGC left their headquarters in Abu Kamal and went to Iraq. Clashes about control of Sukhna town between ISIS and Assad forces on halfway road of Palmyra, Deir Azor city. Uh, renewed tensions between rebels and government. Rebels thwarted an attack and exchanging artillery fire. All right, so people making tinfoil hat remarks. The screenshots are live events as they happen minute by minute being reported by Anons on the ground. They are hard facts. You make your own conclusions from such facts or you watch CNN and they will tell you what to think. A large gathering of NDF arrived in South Damascus for upcoming offensive on ISIS-held districts. All right, Russia is an adversary, not an enemy. We compete for resources, influence, and power, but we can respectfully coexist. We share roots and bleed the same blood. Together, like in World War I and World War II, we can prevail against all odds. All right, here we go. This is where the coordinated attack by USA Russia can be ruined. It is uh, now down, dawn in Lebanon. Israelis are making moves. They attack Assad. There will be a response. So the Lebanese Army, four Israeli aircraft violated Lebanese airspace at dawn today, west of uh, that city to the city of Baalbek, and uh, continued to fly for 10 minutes. All right. Uh, massive assault to start against ISIS rebel CIA-controlled zone of South Damascus. This was planned well in advance. I've said that the U.S., Russia, saw this full coordination. So hundreds of SAA, that's the Syrian Air Force, NDF reinforcements from all over Syria arrived today to battle, uh, to participate in the upcoming battle to capture Yarmouk camp in al Hajar, al-Assad, and Qaddam from ISIS. So taking these positions from ISIS. Uh, why is the USA allowing Russia Assad to take on the last remnants of the CIA in Syria? Russia Assad will show no remorse, no due process, no trial, no prisoners. Uh, news talking about U.S. plane, bombers, etc. Hard Intel says missile only. Only assets in the air I've seen inside Syria is a Syrian Russia. This is good to prevent friendly fire and false flags. So that um, there, there's no attacks that are started by rogue elements of uh, the fighters that are in here. All right, Russia Assad mounting heavy assault on rebel-controlled Duma area of fake gas attack. Previous reported UK operatives have been caught there fighting along with the rebels and witnessing and witnesses fake uh, the, get, the gas attack. Heavy bombardment ongoing in the Duma City Farms area. Uh, so you can, I guess that these are just all the, uh, the attacks that are sort of showing up or the explosions. Uh, well, that is it for tonight. Trust POTUS, trust Q, trust Anons. POTUS says he wants out of Syria. Bad actors, fake gas attack. POTUS has saw Putin annihilated bad actors. Slaughter will last a few days. Let's go eat now. Uh, this is a, he's retweeting this uh, anonymous comment highlights only the, 
only hit the chemical facilities, not targeting Assad himself. Constitutional and UN resolution grounds, Russians were warned in advance, called out the deep state in Syria. Um, I don't know. And then the last thing is this, um, this commentator is uh, saying, basically, there's no reason for Assad to go gas his own troops. And, um, and so, and then they cut him off because um, it didn't fit the narrative. Um, MSN will not tell you that the United States, Russia, mad at one another. POTUS will say chemical weapons destroyed. Bad actors won't be able to use chemical as an excuse again. Now Assad can annihilate rebels without claim of chemical attacks. So, um, I mean, if that's the story, if that's the pathway here, then um, that looks promising that this isn't actually the start of World War III. This is ending the deep state threat that's, uh, you know, basically uh, WikiLeaks showed and a bunch of the emails from the HRC server showed that um, ISIS and Al-Qaeda were basically CIA creations that we've been funding. Um, there's heavily armed people that are in Syria. This seems like a coordinated attack to go root out deep state mercenary armies. Um, so who knows? Maybe this is actually a wonderful thing. Um, again, we're not, I'm not hearing sirens in America. I'm not being told to expect nuclear weapons or something. This doesn't quite look like World War III is starting. It seems like um, they figured out a way, they had a plan, and they're executing on that plan to go destroy whatever remnants of ISIS uh, are still out there. So, uh, we'll see if this is right, uh, and who knows, but appreciate your time. Hopefully this is a good update, and um, and much thanks to Anonymous Decoder. He's got, um, I don't know where he's getting that live feed of what's happening on the ground, but it's pretty incredible. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's basically the last thing he has there. All right, here we go. Um, I'll try to get some more news as I find it. Thanks so much, and uh, this is Agro signing off.